Los Angeles. How you doing? Oh, there's the love right there. So great to see you right here at another Lemert Park Jazz Festival. My name is Leroy Downs. Everything is all about jazz, and you're going to get a lot of that today, too. I mean, this lady, she makes it happen. Would you please give a round of applause for the person who put all of this together? Her name is Miss Diane Robertson. Come on. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for being here. I am so full right now, looking out into this audience, this beautiful layout. We are here at the historic Baldwin Hills Crenshaw Plaza. In 2015, we produced the first Sutro Avenue summer soiree. We had a great DJ spinning throughout the day. We did not have a jazz stage. In 2018, I approached my friend Dwight Tribble and asked him if he would be willing to co-curate a jazz stage at that event. He agreed, we did it, and it was really well received. In 2019, we did it again. And after that year, I decided we were on to something, that we should rebrand the event and call it the Lemert Park Jazz Festival. At the time, there was no eponymous festival in Lemert Park, but I think the history warrants it. I see this event enjoying great longevity and being a real important part of keeping our community vibrant and significant. I received a phone call from a woman who happened to get the flyer. She and a friend of hers produced a Lemert Park Jazz Festival back in the 1990s. And so she was so generous and so gracious and so supportive. And it is my distinct pleasure and honor to bring her to the stage to talk about the first iteration of the Lemert Park Jazz Festival. Please put your hands together and give a warm welcome to Rhonda Mitchell. Hey, South LA. Diana Wimbush recruited me to do the first Lemert Park J Jazz Festival. We did it for three years in a row in Lemert Park and we loved every minute of it. It was to support the Sisters of Jazz and Rose Gales, and they supported other jazz musicians that needed help. I am here to figuratively pass the baton to Diane Robertson, who has done such a wonderful job. I hope this event continues and that we give jazz and music and creativity the space it deserves in our community. 